I didn't get a lot of bunt hits. I got my share. And I would tell Billy to do this. Every time I knew I was going to take a pitch, I would fake a bunt. Just fake a bunt. I don't care if it's a strike. I'm taking the pitch. I do see him doing that a lot. He okay, will fake, he, that puts the seed in the third baseman or first baseman's yeah. head that he might bunt because he can run. And usually guys uh, can run based on where they're hitting in the batting order. There's not a guys that can run. A lot of guys can run hitting seventh and eighth right. or fourth or fifth. You know, you got some multi-talented uh, out uh, you know, uh, athletes that can do everything. But everybody knows Billy Hamilton can run. And if you get that third baseman cheating in an extra step and a half, then that ball's going to go by. Man, I don't want Billy to be no slap hitter. Okay, I don't like slap hitters. I want Billy to hit line drives. Line drive, hard line drives. No, no, no punch and judy hitter. Larry Bow was a punch and judy hitter. I want someone who can hit the ball out of the ballpark, and I think Billy hit six home runs last year. Six of them, yeah. Okay, so, you know, you're going to hit home runs if you play in Cincinnati, if you play in Philadelphia, you play in Camden Yards, you play in Yankee Stadium in right center field right. because they're band boxes. Right. Okay, so don't worry about that, but very few guys hit home runs when they're trying to hit home runs. Right. Hit the ball hard somewhere. It's okay to hit, you know, get a base hit to right field and a base hit to center field and a base hit to left field in the same game. You know, the... Don't go up there with the, uh, you know, they put the shift on a lot of guys. I think they're shifting on, on uh, Bruce now, Jay. Big they're time. Putting a shift on him. Yeah. Well, they're going to do that until he learns how to hit the ball hard to left field. And you get a couple guys on, let him hit a couple uh, line drives, one hop to the left field, or they're going to get out of that shift. But if you, don't, if you don't prove you can do that, I wish they'd have shifted on me. You know, oh. they didn't even shift on Johnny Bench. They didn't shift right. on Tony Perez because they could go the other way. And those, you know, Johnny Bench wasn't a 300 hitter, but he was a smart hitter. Right. And he understood what he could do, and he stayed within himself. What do you think about them talking about maybe uh, outlawing the shift? Well, I don't think you can do that because uh, uh, if, if you're the guy they're putting a the shift on, you have to figure out a way to beat the shift. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like you can't, you can't make a guy get in the batter's box. You can't uh, prevent a pitcher from going back and getting a rosin bag. You know, I, I don't understand why everybody's in a hurry. You know, I don't think you're ever going to have fast games anymore because you have 54 minutes of commercials every game, three minutes every half inning. Those doggone TV guys. Well, it's fine. <laughs> they pay the bills. But, uh, but it's amazing to me how fickle fans are nowadays, Jim. You know, if you're a Cincinnati fan, you go to a game on Friday night and the Reds lose one and nothing in an iron 50-minute game, you're pissed on the way home. Now you come back the next day, Saturday, they went 15 to 2 and the game took four hours. You're happy on the way home. What's the hurry? Football takes three hours, three and a half hours. Right. You ever watch an NBA game the last two minutes oh. of the game? You could have three beers if you drank beer. Yeah. I just yeah. don't understand. Foul why after foul, timeout after timeout, you know, the end of baseball. Baseball has been doing pretty good since 1869.